hello welcome to texture math today we will learn a way through which we can parse the data written inside the xml in our ifs location okay so uh, and like we will divide this session into two parts like firstly in today's session we will discuss about the exact way through which we can parse the any particular data or any particular record from the xml file and in our uh, upcoming session we will discuss about the way through access the entire xml file data into a rpgl program so let's see so before we start with the program dis uh, introduction let's discuss about the way through which we can create the directory so like for storing the xml file we need one directory so how to create that directory so to create that directory you have to hit the command crt dir then press f4 and here you can uh, put the directory name. So for now, I'm making it as a test dir, okay? And then just hit enter. So once you hit enter, it shows directory created. So way to check uh, like where this directory has been created. If I do work obj and test dir, then it is not showing any object. So it means it is created, but inside the IFS location. What is IFS location? It is an integrated file system of IBMI. So to check that you have to hit the command work lnk which means work link and then hit enter. So here you will see the work with object links. Okay. So if you do scroll down, then you will find your directory here. So we have created this text di test dir. Okay. So it is created. Now in this we can take option five to uh, display purpose. And if, if you want to edit it, so you can take option two. Fine. So we are now inside the directory. So here we need to create one XML file where we will store the data. So make a test.xml and then just hit enter. So once you hit enter, it will open in edit mode. From here, you can put I, then put your data. Let's say I want to create my tag as data. Then hit enter, take I and close this XML. So I will put here data again okay. and inside this uh, tag what we will do we will keep some other data like name so these are the text okay xml take tags and inside that we can write some data so this is a simple way through uh, create the XML file inside the directory. Once it is completed, like you have stored all the data, you can uh, take F3 for save and exit. So when I once I press F3, it it has changed. Now you can press F3 to go back. So if I go inside again, then you can see there is one file test.xml is created. So you can check it by option taking five. Okay, so this is how we can create the data. For now, I'm deleting it because we are using another uh, file that we have already stored here. So let me delete this. Okay, so for uh, let's go again inside the work link. So mainly we will discuss about this uh, here in TechSharmit directory. I have created one access XML file. Let's see that. So I'm taking option two. So this is my XML file that we are going to use. Okay. So here it will show the size, who is the owner of this XML file, last change date, use date, CCS ID. CCS ID is also an important concept we will discuss in upcoming sessions. But for now, we are just discussing about the parsing of XML. So I can take five. So this is the data I have stored inside my XML, which is details is my heading then inside that i have name and email okay so let's try to parse this data so requirement is that we want to fetch this email id which is written inside the xml file so let's see how to do this so i hope uh, directory creation is clear after that you can create your xml file you can store the data in this way okay so you can keep the data in this order and then you can pass it so let's see how to pass that so to parse that we have created one rpgl program so let's discuss about that so as usual we are writing the code in fully free format and initially from line number 10 we are declare we have declared some variables which is file name options name and email 
so file name and options are of uh, varchar type of length 500 and name and email is of varchar type of length 50 we have initialized all the variables so that it uh, does not contain any kind of um, garbage value okay now below to that we have written the main logic for parsing the data in xml file so firstly we have to store the file path where uh, we have created the data dot xml file so how to do that so in another session i have this i have opened this like uh, my directory name is tech Shermit, then take five and inside that i have this xml file so take five again and now from here you can copy the path okay so browse path you can copy here so i'm just storing this uh, inside the file name variable and after that we have to specify some options so in options variable i will store this string as a options which is case any it means uh, it is not a case sensitive thing so it means a small a and uh, capital a's will be the same meaning will have the same meaning okay and in doc you have to pass the file because we are going to parse the file and path you have to specify the exact uh, path from where we want to fetch the data so if i show you the data again so here what i want to do i want to fetch it from details now in details i want to fetch it from email and i want to just pick this email address so for that you have to just specify here in path details then slash then email okay so it will go for details then email and then it will fetch out the data all right so we have declared the file name and as well as we have set the option so these are the things that we can use uh, for parsing the data now see how to parse the data for that we have to use this keyword and function which is xml into so you have to write it same as xml hyphen into then you can pass the variable which you want to retrieve from this parsing and inside that you have to write percentage xml and it will take two options uh, two arguments first one is the file name on which we want from which we want to pass the data so file name is actually the file path okay so i have passed it and we are uh, trimming it so that it will reduce any blank spaces if there is any okay so mainly trim function is used for removing the blanks after a colon we pass the second argument which is options so here we have set these all options so it will be considered at the time of parsing okay once this line is executed we will retrieve the email in this email variable so we have declared that variable right so it will store all the uh, the email in this variable and after that we are just setting star i and lar equals to star on so let's compile and try to call this so yes we retrieve the email which is correct textshermit at gmail.com so this is what we have stored inside the xml file so this is the way through which we can uh, pass the particular uh, tag from the xml file okay and if you want to uh, parse it for the name then you can do the same thing but just but uh, just with the different name or variable here you can make it as a name so now it is a name and below to that here inside you can store it in name variable and just make it as a name because we are going to print the name and if i compile and call it again by taking option 14 so it is now showing the name instead of email because we have changed it so this is the best way to parse the data uh, particular data or particular tag uh, from the xml file that we have stored inside the ifs location in the upcoming session we will discuss about another way where we will parse all the tags at a time it means all the tag in the same time we will uh, parse inside the rpg leap program so yeah that's it for this session in the upcoming session we will learn few more things so thank you for watching Tech Sharmat.